Today on Fox Fox, we're in her house and Inner City Leeds and we're going to be finding out what makes her house shine. Is it the sun or is it the people? What is it that makes you smile about hair hills? What, what makes you feel happy about being in the hair hills? Not a lot. I don't know. <laughs> Park, that's about it. The park, yeah? Yeah, it's not new, they're all old council buildings, like not, it's not really like, new. it's not really done either, it's all old, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's I'm, responsible for where they live, yeah, Dad, so the people, that, that relies on the people, do you know what I mean? People making a mess, you know, it's not the council's look out, is it? But the buildings is it, is it? are old. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, not... it's like anywhere, it doesn't matter about if it's air or any part of the country. I mean the people that are in it and I'm not on about you know like putting people in the sections because there's more the culture all around here so you know what I mean I'm not um, stigmatizing any culture I mean, other people you got clean and you have got unclean and yeah and you know met the most of everything well that's it basically isn't it you know what I mean she's that's what she's talking about she's talking about people like making a mess you know what I mean people have got you know different ideas different values and they're brought up with different values aren't they and some people just don't care at all so you know Start the grassroots, don't you? It's not the councils look out, that is it. I've been away for a few years and I don't know if there is much community spirit around here anymore. I don't know. Obviously, like I said, it's now become a... This section of Erdos has become multicultural over recent years, you know what I mean? And, you know, there's divisions in there in certain quarters. You know? And now there's a lot of people calling it Mini Vegas, you know, because there's that, that many different nationalities about the place and you know it's become a lot more active and you know more 24 7 isn't it you know what i mean than to what it was years ago you look at it years ago you generally you've got people's grandmas on air and that you know what i mean going out doing a little bit of shopping now you've got kids running up and down there and you know it's, i like it some people don't i don't mind it isn't it well not everyone's of the same opinion as me people don't like change nobody likes change really do they? you know what i mean you've got to acclimatize I couldn't care less me because I don't like to live there. I don't like to live with one foot in yesterday. I know if I wanted to go somewhere and somebody says, oh, well, you can't do this, you can't do that, I thought, well, hang on, I want to bet myself. So why not give people opportunities, give them chances, you know what I mean? Don't start stigmatising people, you know, when they don't know, you know, their social backgrounds and their history and everything else. Everyone's trying to, you know, strive to get along in life, aren't they? Generally. All the social media. Now, this is my daughter, I'll tell him how to talk to it all stays back to racism, doesn't it? You know what I mean? And people think racism is just down to do with colour. It's not to do with colour. You know what I mean? It goes beyond that, doesn't it? Various issues. And, you know, it's going to be evident wherever you go in the country, throughout the world, it's the same, isn't it? You know what I mean? We could stand here all day debating that, couldn't we? But it's mindset and educating people, you know what I mean? And uh, the schools around here are doing that now, I think, from what I've seen, anyway. Go on, Kettle Well, she's worked, she's well, she used to live here. Going back to when I was a child, you know what I mean? Same thing, she'd have a lot to say because she sees people on a daily basis in that fish and chip shops called Mermaid. If, it's, if she's working in there today, see her there, and Joe, and Fox. So now we're going off to the chip shop to find out if we can hear some other stories about her house. But yeah, we're off to the main bustling <laughs> part of town, the Trafford Trio. What are we going to find there? Who knows, but lots of traffic. It wasn't really good to talk to Mark just there and sort of bust a few stereotypes about, well, shall we say, white attitudes towards multicultural leads? See, perhaps you can't judge a book by its cover after all. Fox on the run. Yeah, just proving that you can. <coughs> Fox climbing. Fox can be a social climber. So yes, we're emerging onto uh, Hair Hills Lane. My erstwhile friends, I'm not quite sure what to make of this. Here we are on the um, Las Vegas Strip. Looking down towards the corner of Hair Hills Lane, Hair Hills Avenue, or even the Compton Road. Um, Fox basking in the sun. On our way to a, a famous chip shop, the Mermaid, which has been recommended. And uh, yes, traditional fish and chips. Now, what counts as traditional these days, I wonder? So, just wondering, what does it make Hair Hills a really warm and friendly place? What makes what? Hair Hills a really warm and friendly place. <laughs> no, Sharp one will come down here. I'm going to keep it nice, alright. <laughs> 
So I. We're in the great number. What's what's good about it? What makes you put a smile on your face apart from my mates, my friends, and family around here? What's so special about it? What's so special? There's no special about it. What's what's the lovely about it? What's the lovely thing about this area? What's what? What do you love about this area? What do we used to love? What do you love about it now as well? We don't love any about it now. It's work at the end of the day, it's a job. I've been here 20 years, so that's why I still work here, but I live at Cross Gates. I used to live down here, yeah. but I won't live down there now. Yeah. The yeah. dirty, the spit, the throw rubbish all over the floor, they come and sit on my table, they tell me to get lost. <laughs> the pinching, the pinching, the pinching, the even pinch from St. Gemma's. And that's a charity shop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying they're all like that. No, 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 not all of them, obviously, but they're, they're only around this area because of all the big houses. Well, we have one family, there's about ten, ten families in one house. Yeah, that's it. There is. So there's an issue around the houses, people try to crowd the houses? So that's really everything well, all, 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 <laughs> <laughs> all our lot, then, should I say, who wants to move? <laughs> we can't move, though, because they give it all to ethnic minority, eth ethnic minority people. Chocolate and chocolate is nice. Very nice. You've got a lot of workers. Clean. There's a lot of workers around here. Yeah. Yeah. So I get the sense that you think things aren't equal in nature. It ain't equal in nature. Well, no. It recently has been, should I say. Like I said, they're all waiting for council houses, aren't they? And they get everything. They get everything given. They get new stuff, new beds, yeah. new prams. That's it. Man. There's been uh, different phases in immigration. Like when my parents came here, mm -hmm. and also the current immigration, uh, people come and go really. Um, I had most of, a lot of my childhood in um, this area, and uh, I find um, I think they say keep it real, and I think this area teaches you what's real than uh, suburbia really, because you see what. Um, people uh, who are impoverished really because this area is uh, one of the poorest areas in, the, in the England so I think what else would make it make this area shine is the uh, people who manage to survive and do something uh, great with their life. There can be a lot of profound people living in this area you know, uh, and you really think about why you're here really. Poverty really makes me think. Because we live in a class based society and it's just become, class has become everything. This area is sort of like, I mean, in a way, has been treated like a dustbin, really, human dustbin. A lot of, uh, I think, redundant people who just, uh, um, who could do with the family and, and everything, but everything become about money, so that's, that's killing off what family is really about. And it's more of a... I've been coming on this lane 20 odd years and it's not changed. Thank you. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice area and I, like I said I've lived around here 20 odd years and it's always been the same. It's very nice in Diamond Lane. You know everybody, everybody are friends. So, yeah. I think um, people people are anti-immigration, but I think immigration's made this area more safer, really, uh, because there's more people stick stick up for the ethnic minority. I think the what you call the happy affluent families are run like corporations. And they invest in the right things, education, and so on, so on. and uh, that model of being some kind of co uh, corporation rather than a family is it's just trying to turn everyone into some kind of rogue machines. The government's cut down a lot on, on um, investment in um, mental, mental health issues and um, so I think people will be struggling I think a lot more because services aren't, aren't there and they're trying to make it more and more DIY kind of fix it yourself. You got a problem, fix it yourself if you can. As a way of saving money. So what's special about her house? Um, what's special about her house? Well it's always been a lovely place and if you're born round here, 
The six days was marvellous. Have you got a, have you got a time have you got a time machine and I will. We will. Perhaps one of these. And it has changed a lot. In air hills. Uh air hills lane anyway, especially. Uh litter and everything. But you do find a lot of people, nice people on here. Yeah. All change you to put up with. Even though it is hard. <laughs> We're adults. It's not bad. Yeah, so what brings you out today, the three of you? Have you been well, going to an I've activity I've been right group? down onto Harold's Road. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, my grandson got circumcised today, so my daughter, granddaughter wanted me with her. We're all, we're all on computer. You all on, on are internet. you all silver surfers? I'm a what? Are you a silver surfer? Yes, I am. And my sister in Canada. Yeah. Uh, every night we go on Skype, every night Skype? we talk to each other, so like me going to Canada and she coming yeah. to England, you know. I'm Geordie Descent. You're Geordie Descent? Wow. Yeah, I've been Alloway to Fantastic. Newcastle and Durham. Alloway Park. Well, so, what, what, makes Hair, what makes Hair Hill special for you? The diversity. The diversity? Yeah. Mm, I love the diversity. Not at first, but now I do. Yeah. yeah. We all need diversity. What did you think to it at first? At first, yeah, it was nice and... <coughs> Clean. clean, yeah, like she said, yeah. People do mess it up, but that's yeah. why we pay tax, though, isn't it? Yeah, for, for people to, to clean them up. Yeah, we can't be paying tax and they don't clean up all the thing. But the diversity is good because you learn from people, don't you? Like the you culture. See people used to do outside these shops here. People used to do the outside, come out with brushes and sweep it all and take it all up. Yeah. No one does out. I just think it's the council we need to talk to to make sure it's cleaner. Just because there's foreigners here don't mean they don't have to clean it or they don't have to leave yeah. their yeah. If you get what I'm saying. It's a lovely area, the sun's out, everyone's out, so... There's <laughs> nothing bad about it. Everybody smiles, you get it somewhat smile and yeah. understand it. Yeah? There's bad in every culture, isn't it? Everyone, that's how it is. It's all different culture. Yeah, now. that's how it is. You can't call it Indian anymore. It's good. European country. It's good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.